Hi everyone, Evgeny is back with you today and we continue our series of videos about chatbot. So this is the second one about chatbot. And previously, uh, just to refresh your memory, we were talking about the problem when you keep the conversation going, then the list of messages is growing all the time and you have to do something with that. So last time we checked uh, the simplest uh, solutions for that, how you can shrink the list, but uh, that was a very problematic in the way that it was losing the context of the conversation. So today we are going to continue on that and we will check how summarization works. So another way which better preserves the meaning of the conversation. And quick note, there is a link to Amazon website in the description. So please click on it and then when you buy something somewhere, Amazon will reward me and provide a couple of cents. So I will be closer to my dream. A new keyboard. All right, thanks a lot, and now let's jump into the coding session. All right, so what's the idea behind message summarization? And I draw a small diagram for you to demonstrate this. And uh, on the left-hand side we have this chatbot, and that's uh, what we created last time. So it's a single note, and from start it goes to chatbot, then this one generates the response, and voila, we have it. And with the summarization, the idea is that we are not removing messages from the list, but well, well we do, of course, we remove them. But uh, what we are doing, we are, before removing, we are trying to create a summarization of these messages, which is much smaller in size, and we keep this summarization in the scope of our conversations. And uh, for every session of replying and like asking and replying, for the every session, we are pointing our chatbot to this summarization or summarized information saying, okay, this was the conversation about, please take this into the account as well. So this is the raw idea. And uh, you can imagine, right, we have a new node here, which will be responsible for summarizing. And in some cases uh, where the list of messages is not so big, we just go to the end and finish in the conversation, the round of conversation. And uh, for other cases where the list of messages grows and grows, we can trigger this summarizing node so it can be taken by chatbot next time. All right, enough talking, let's go to the code and see how it works. And uh, before we are diving into the details, uh, this is the standard kind of chatbot that we ended up last time. And uh, I'm not going to go through and talk about every single detail. Please check the previous video about that. Uh, but this will be our base for changing, for making changes. And let's just uh, compile it. But uh, what's the problem here that we have to solve first? This is about removing messages, as it's stated here. And I will tell you what the problem is about. So uh, in the chatbot here, we are using state as our schema, right? And state is a class that's based on message state. And this one comes from, uh, it's not here, but anyway, it comes from LangGraph. And uh, so we are using message state and uh, this message state has built in a list of messages. And the very convenient thing that uh, we don't have this as a simple list, but it's more a, uh, it's, it's, it's list annotated with a reducer. And uh, by default, we have a built-in reducer add messages. So it's very convenient in a way that when we assign a new message to this uh, messages key, it's not replaced or assigned to the key, but its reducer is in place and then it's added, it's been added to the list of already existing messages. And this is a cool feature, but uh, here with our idea of uh, summarizing, it might be problematic because just imagine, uh, let me scroll up again. Uh, the messages that we used in summarization, we would like to remove them from the list of messages. And it's not possible, right? Because which way you will do this? Uh, you, you cannot replace the list because uh, we have a user and then all these messages that you would pass, they would be just added to the list. So there is no easy way how to do this in a, in a clear, in Python way, like in a classical way without uh, using any specific tricks. And I will show you the trick how to do this. What we can do, so we have our a conversation and I set IDs for simplicity here. And then when we have a new message, uh, what happens, we are just adding messages to already existing list. And what we have back here, see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is the new one. And here we have it, it was added to the list. We're going to keep only the last two. So this 
ones we would summarize into summarization and we have to remove them from the list so keeping only the last two messages as the most recent ones right and for doing that there is a trick we can use this remove message thing uh, kind of this is a class it's kind of a hint that you would like to remove these messages so what's happening here we have to create a list of messages to delete and we create in this remove messages hints kind of so if I run it We have this remove message, remove message, but the crucial point is that IDs are here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And now what happens if you try to add messages to already existing list, which is from one to seven, uh, but we are adding kind of a new list which contains this remove messages from one to five. And what happens, take a look, the messages were removed. So we left with six and seven, exactly what we need. So this is, this one, this technique, is the way how you can modify your list in uh, your state, right? If you are using manager state from land graph. Okay, now we know the trick. Uh, let's start and uh, create the graph itself. And uh, first we start with defining our new schema. And let's reuse the one we already have. This is the one from us. And uh, this one contains list of messages first. And also we had question and answer. So let's extend the schema and add the summarization where we would keep all the summarized information. That's pretty clear, right? And then we are defining nodes and we have we do have a chatbot which is the same, more or less, right? And uh, it's a summary state that the one we just created. And what we are doing in this node, we have to check summary. So we are trying to fetch the summary from the state. And if summary defined, if it's defined, then okay. We are creating a new message based on the summary. So we are saying, okay, summary of conversation and this one and passing the summary. And uh, we put in it at the first one because this summary uh, message, it represents the already removed messages from message, so uh, from the list. So it should be somewhere on the top. And then we are adding the latest two messages. This is the expected list behavior, right? Otherwise, if summary is not here or this is the first call, we're just grabbing all the messages we have. And the rest is pretty straightforward, exactly the same that we had before. So we have a question that one we're extracting from question because this was our interface. Uh, then we are making a call to LLM and uh, we have this chatbot system message. Uh, then we put in the messages with summary. And if summary there, then it's already there. If not, okay, then a list of messages and the question at the end. And again, we are providing list of messages, we're adding, because again, this is a reducer. So we're adding question and response to the list of messages. Uh, we're updating question, we are updating our answer, and so we are passing summary itself. Since we are not modifying summary, it will be just uh, transferred from the request response. So pretty simple, so far so good, right? And uh, then we have to create another node let's uh, summarize it's the name of the node there are two cases this node will be called only in a case where we need summarization and we have you uh, two use cases first it was already the conversation was already summarized in this case we have to grab the latest messages summarize them somehow and uh, somehow smoothly merge this summarization to the already existing summarization so it contains the whole conversation or another use case that it's the first call, for example, we don't have any summarization, we should just create it. And that's why we have different uh, prompts for that. And what's happening next, uh, that's what I mentioned, we are creating the messages that we're going to send to LLM and uh, we have all the conversation here and the summary message, the task itself, the definition of the task. So we do have a response which contains summarization. Then uh, what happens next, we have to remove messages. And this is the trick we saw already, right? We, we are removing all the messages but last two. And this is kind of a uh, task for removing the messages. So we are signing to the messages and you remember it's not a sign in itself. There, there is a reducer that will take these delete messages and perform the creation, uh, practically removing all the messages but last two. And then we do have summarization here, so we are signing it. And the rest is just uh, providing uh, from the input variables. That was the uh, summarization node and now let's define edges. And here we need uh, specific 
edge that would decide which way to take. So should summarize yes or no. And what's happening here, we are just grabbing messages. And if we have more than two messages, then we should summarize. Otherwise, we're just finishing this thread. And, uh, well, the rest is more or less simple, right? We have summary state as our schema. We are defining chatbot. We are defining summarize. Uh, from start it goes to chatbot. Then we are adding conditional edge that uh, from chatbot uh, to somewhere and should summarize defines the condition. And uh, from summarize, we go into the end. And we are using memory saver as everything is like previously, right? So I'm compiling this graph and here we are. That's how it looks like. So we have a star, then we have a chatbot, and if we have more than two messages, then it goes to summarization and we create the summarizing information and go to the end. Otherwise, chatbot just finishes it here. And next session, chatbot will take the summarization if it's there and use it. And again, if we have more than two messages in a, in a row, then summarization will happen. And this uh, happens over and over again. So let's give it a try thing. It's ready, right? And I'm going to use the same kind of dialogue that we invented previously, which uh, simulates the, our communication with chatbot. And look at that, we have messages, human message, we have response, question, answer is the same, and summarization is zero. We don't have anything because we don't have so many messages to summarize. And then I'm asking, okay, sorry, what was my previous question? And this time it should be something right already. And it's there. And the summarization is the user is working on a Python project that is experiencing difficult difficulties with handling API responses. They seek assistance in resolving this issue and have asked for guidance. So this was the summary. And if you take a list of the messages, we don't have beginning of the conversation starts from, sorry, what was my previous question? So it was removed from the list. And then I'm kind of asking, yeah, 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 you're right. And I'm struggling with parsing JSON response. And let's see if summarization was updated with this information. And again, see, uh, the list of messages uh, keeps in two messages only, and that's uh, you're right. Practically, it's the last pair, which is saved here. And uh, the summarization is the user is working on Python project and struggling. This is as before, right? They see guidance, uh, handling varying JSON formats, including strategies for safety. So you see, there is a new update of summarizing this information. What's, uh, what's happening? in the conversation, right? And then I'm saying, okay, got it, thanks a lot. Uh, what would be the best way to handle DP, deeply nested JSON data? And the response is here, list of messages is still relatively small, it's just two messages, and this one was updated. But uh, let's be a bit provocative and try to ask something completely out of scope of this conversation, like how's the weather outside? Uh, probably well, the LM is not capable of answering that, but anyway, the answer, right? And we'll check how summary will be changed. And I'm unable uh, to provide real-time data, including current weather conditions, that's fine, but let's check the summary. The user is working on Python project, uh, facing challenges with unexpected structures. They see guidance on handling varying JSON formats. Uh, and... And additionally, they are interested in effectively managing deeply nested JSON data, exploring approaches. And the user is also looking for suggestions on validating JSON structure. And in, in a separate query, they requested current weather information, indi indicating a need for real-time data, but were advised to consult reliable sources of apps for such updates. So see, it's all there. The information was summarized as well. This is how it works. All right, that was it. We, in short, we, we added a summarization note to replace list of all messages with summarized information to stop keep growing messages over and over again. And we showed the trick how to remove messages from messages, uh, from the state messages from land graph. And in the next session, in the next video, we will check how to persist our states, not in the memory, but in the real database. And also we will see a new way of visualizing the graph and uh, the tool, One Graph Studio, it's called. And we will see how to use it for debugging our graphs and how to work with them. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. That was Evgeny. Okay. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.